This is Robert Demers for Conman here at the Fantasia International Film Festival, and I'm here with Jacob Gentry, the writer and director of Synchronicity. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Your film premiered uh, just last night. How was that for you, knowing that it was sold out on top of it? Oh, it was great. It was a, it was a, it was a dream. It was the first time I've been to the Fantasia Film Festival, and I've always wanted to come, so it was really wonderful to kind of premiere the movie amongst people that, you know, the kind of type of fan that I am you know, of genre cinema. Yeah. Can you tell our audience a little bit about the film? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a sci-fi noir. It's sort of um, a sort of uh, detective search and a romance and a hard science fiction movie and a uh, time travel movie all at the same time. What a little bit of a mind bender. What inspired you to make this mix of genres and into uh, what synchronicity is now? Um, I mean, ultimately, I think that they all have to fit together and they have to serve a thematic purpose. And I think that, you know, the sort of noir feeling of it had to do with the detect, you know, the normal guy becoming a detective. And I think that, you know, scientists are essentially cosmic detectives. And then the, you know, the hard science fiction element of it and the time travel element of it wanted it to be as sort of, you know, uh, realistic as possible, but also because time travel is also a fantasy, have some more romantic, fantastical elements and create a world that the, the characters live inside of that you want to be a part of that world. You feel like you're there. I completely, completely get it. I'm... I watched it last night, and as a science fiction buff myself, it just blew me away. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. That's really nice. Thank you. You worked with a theoretical physicist to bring authenticity to the science of the film. How was that working from a writer's perspective? Um, that's really just a matter of... It was actually surprising, because I, I wanted to just get a perspective on what stuff in it did I sound like an idiot, you know, as like a, basically my Wikipedia knowledge of physics. Um, I really wanted to, I did a lot of research, but also I'm, you know, I don't really, I'm not a scientist, I'm a filmmaker. Um, and I wanted to make sure that the dialogue was at least passable for if like a scientist were to watch the movie, if a physicist were to watch the movie and their ears wouldn't bleed from how much it was wrong. And I wanted to be responsible about the science because I think that uh, that's kind of a, a something that I'm really interested in is like actual, you know, science responsibility in movies um, and uh, the working with him it was just really just about I realized working with him that um, there wasn't really much as much about the actual science because this is all theoretical it's all things that are technically possible by the laws of physics but are right now with our technology are impossible and so really what it has to do when you get into that kind of theoretical physics, it's really just a question of philosophical arguments. And as long as your argument within the movie is self-contained, as long as it makes sense within itself, as long as it's a sound argument philosophically um, within the construct of the movie, and the rules within the movie are, are, are kept, that's all that really matters, you know? And uh, not as much about, because no one knows if, if this stuff could even happen anyway, you know? So. Of course. Uh, what was your most memorable moment during the production? Most memorable moment? Um, that's a tough one. Uh, I think that the most memorable moment for me was realizing how small of a production we were, but being in certain situations where, we're, where we have set up lights and are in certain architectural um, you know, like basically under the Georgia Dome, uh, shooting in this amazing looking um, environment with all these lights and smoke and wet down the, with just a hose and what have you and, and kind of looking at the picture and going, wow, we just created a sci-fi world and a really low budget and, and just to kind of see it as a reality. You know, that was kind of, that was, that was a really memorable moment for me, just kind of taking it all in and going, wow, you know. So for our f fans at home who want to see this movie but can't hear it if they're uh, abroad, uh, what kind of release will the film be looking at in the near future? Uh, we'll see. You know, um, we're just kind of 
continuing to uh, play festivals and and you know try to partner with a distributor and find you know where the best avenues for it will be and hopefully as many people as possible get to see the movie all over the world well thank you so very much for talking with us and i wish you all the success in the future with your film oh, thank you very much Thank you.